Hey guys, this is Stu from Stuart Scale Models. Uh, now, initially, I wasn't going to do this, but I've changed my mind. Um, this is response to Steve Mottram's question on our work area and what we've got in our stash. I will show you some of my stash, uh, but a lot of it is actually put away at the moment. So, without further ado, we'll just get on with what I've got here. Um, as you can see here, this is all the kits that I'm going to have for my entry to the M Group build, which is the Tamiya M4A3 Sherman with 105mm howitzer. I've got the Kubelfagen, as you can see there from Tamiya. The Dragon set of figures, 6163, uh, which is the Arden. Uh, so that's that. Um, and then obviously the base I've actually got stowed away here. If I can bring it out. Which is this here, obviously with a wall from Fields of Glory, or Fog Models as it were, based in Camberley. Sorry about the shaky camera, I'm just turning this by handheld camera at the moment from the phone. So that's that. And then obviously working onto the workbench, uh, yeah, this is my current project, which is the World War One group build. Um, not quite happy with a mud or earth colour, to be honest with you. Uh, I might go over that again. The rest of it, yeah, fairly fine. Um, figures I've got to paint yet, so uh, that's something else I've got to do. And then right over here, I've got my paint mixer, which is the Badger paint mixer, which was recommended by Paul Bretland uh, from ISM. And it is an awesome little tool, I have to say. Um, I'd be lost without it. Instead of having to sort of stir, stir and stir and stir and stir, just put it in there, whisk it up, boom, job done. Over here is turpenoid, which is the non. Um, oops, sorry for the shaky camera work again. This is the non um, smelly one. Uh, this was recommended by Mike Cohen, so thanks, buddy. Um, I have already used that actually to do a dot fielder on my recent Tiger build, so that was very, very handy. And then obviously I've got my um, paint uh, brush jars there, A and B. Uh, at the back I've got White Spirit tools. That's all my modelling tools in here. Cotton wool buds, obviously for removing wash. Oh, and then bang me head uh, on the lamp. <laughs> Not very good. And then obviously I've got all my brushes here, my fine brushes for my figure work. And then obviously for... Uh, Bigger areas, more tools, as you can see at the back here. Okay, let's move my hand out of the way, as you can see. Very rarely do you use those, but they come in handy anyway. Um, and then obviously I've got the Ultimate Modeling Products sanders in here, all my spare ones. Uh, awesome sanders, I um, partly recommend them. Uh, I bought the multi-pack at uh, Telford last year, so I uh, got a nice discount by Paul and the guys, so thanks again. Uh, pipe cleaners for help partly clean my airbrush out. Um, a mixture of teeth tweezers in here, different widths, etc. Okay, and then I've got all my glues, as you can see, it to me a thin, new to me a standard. Um, also, I've got this one here, which is for canopies, Humbrol's Clear Fix. Vaseline for keeping my brushes subtle. Uh, to, oh, I've got some Revell sort of contactor. Zapper Gap, which I use for etch brass parts. That's just for muck of paint that goes in there. And then I've got all my boxes with all my other bits and bobs put in there, paints, etc. Okay, and then I've got a little holder there for fiddly little kit bits. And... Coming down here, I've got my clamps and my sole, micro sole, micro set, AKs, thinners, airbrushes, and airbrush holder. Okay, well, a selection of them, I've got others. One harder and steel back ultra. I uh, can't think of what this one is. And then obviously, I've got a. I'm trying to think what this one is. You know, I can't remember, but it's a good little airbrush. I use that for basically putting the Steiner rays down, 0.5 needle, awesome stuff. And then down here, I've got another one, which is the Awata HPC. Um, awesome little airbrush again, 0.5 needle. I might get a new one for that, for a 0.3 or 0.2 with a nozzle. Okay, mask, obviously for when I'm um, painting. Little board stamp, and then obviously got a little turntable down here. Meg products. Awesome stuff for weathering, etc. Ultimate washes, and I've got a basin full of them as well. Okay, 
Um, obviously the old kitchen towel, as you know. And down here, I've got some what might use this for his dios, cellu clay. I've not used it yet, but I will do in a future project. It's paper mache, and uh, you just wet it down, mix it up, etc. And it forms very hard, doesn't crack unlike uh, das. Uh, so I've been told. So uh, yeah, I should give that a crack. And then obviously I've got my magnifiers here, my glasses I use for my modelling. And then obviously I've got my vinyl gloves, cocktail sticks, most essential little tool for when you're painting figures, all-purpose glue, uh, scenic, woodland scenic, scenic glue. I've also got the water effects uh, substance, isopropyl, alcohol, um, in here. Scenic cement again. I've got a little spray canister here for woodland scenics. Okay, that's all for all my dios. Brush cleaner, white spirit, and then obviously I've got this for doing the wheels on my tight on my tanks. I've actually got some quick wheel sets in there as well, uh, but you can't see them at the moment. Uh, back here I've got some reference material as you can see. Okay, for tigers, etc. Up here, I sent pics of plastic uh, calendar, and we're on Wesley this month. So well done, Wes. That's an awesome-looking king, mate. And then moving up here, some of my past builds. This was my first armor build when I got back into modeling the old Panzer IV LSD to me. Then this one, I took part in the Surrey Syndicate Community Tank Group build, which is the old Chieftain. This one I took part in Mark Cohen's tribute bill, which is the old uh, early version. And the most recently completed AS90, as you can see here. That's me dad and me when I was at my 30th. Doctor Who stuff. Yeah, you know. No, me with me Doctor Who. Big fan. Oh, it's me old mate Alan and his missus at their wedding. And a few signed photos, da 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 da. Ayrton Senna, my favourite all time Formula One driver. This was taken at the British Grand Prix in 1992 when Mansell gave me a lift back to the pits. Lovely study of Ayrton there with the signature. Anyway, moving on from that, because we want to look at stuff that's modelling related. Obviously, this is my recent Tiger, um, Amsel, Thomas Amsel Gruber Tiger 1 build. Really pleased with that, I have to say. Awesome blooming kit. It really is. The figures went well with it. And that was my first attempt at doing a little mini dio. So I'm very, very happy with that. And then obviously this was my entry into the Battle of Britain um, 75th anniversary group bill, which was the Airfix retooled Hawker Hurricane. And again, unfortunately, my little doggy's gone missing because I knocked it off. Uh, but the guy's still there and the crew, etc. So that was well done. And then obviously I've got some of my stash underneath the table here. Uh, Dragon Hornacey. Um, I've got Tamiya Leopard 2. I've um, got the old half track. I think that's the D version. Tiger. Oh, the Panther G. This is the early version. Sexton. Dragon Sexton. And then obviously got the Black Nagel Dragon. Um, do you know my mind's gone blank? Uh, what one is it? British Armoured Saladin Mark VI. And um, that's going to be an interesting build. I've got other kits stowed away in there, but I think you've already seen them. Down here I've got a Panzer uh, Cab Wagon 4 E or F by Hobby Boss. Uh, Soviet T24 by Hobby Boss. Uh, Panzer 3 Alps N, which I might do as Vitman's uh, Panzer 3, which he had before he had his first Tiger. And down here, we've got more dragon figures. And then we've got another Schwimmwagen, which apparently is a lovely little kit to build. Then I've got the M41 Walker Bulldog. This time with fuel traps down here. I've got, if I can move my bookcase out of the way. There we go. Oh, God. Right, sorry again about the shaky camera, but we're getting there. 
and then down here we've got the M8 with the US howitzer and motor carriage and obviously a little um, set there as well and then ICM's I-16 I think it is um, Stug House B as you got there which is a recent release from Tamiya uh, that's about that and then down here Again, we've got another Kubelwagen, as you can see there, and obviously the mini ass dioramas. I've got loads of sets of those uh, stowed away. And then we've got a Marder 3 from Dragon, and this is the Mark 3 Cruiser Mark 4 early production by Bronco. That looks an awesome kit, and that's some of the figures I used from my set uh, in the Tiger build I did recently. Another set of figures from Tamiya. Up here, got a Hawk, Airfix Retooled Hawker Hurricane, and at the back there, hidden away, is the Avro Vulcan and Vickers Valiant F4F Phantom from a test centre in 132nd. Um, SAS Land Rover stowed away in there, the Pink Panther. Uh, more dragon figures you can see down here and at the bottom there I've got the Airfix 148th Hawker Fury okay down here I've got the 109 from Ravel in 148th the F2 Air 4 um, then I've got the Profi Pack MiG 21 PFM and then I've got the Sword Lightning, which you saw in Inbox Review about a month or two back, the 2C to T2. And then I've got a Jagged Tiger from Tamiya with the Fru production, which I think was the Porsche turret, if I'm wrong. And then the other um, MiG-21 from Edward, which is the weekend version, which I did an Inbox Review on recently. Then I've got the Hobby Boss VK4502P Hinton. That looks an awesome kit. A um, couple of paint sets. The Leo's German Armour Phil Grey set, which I actually used on some of the figures from the Tiger build. And also their Rust Effects, AK's Rust Effects. Now, back here I've got... i swivel the camera around. Um, it looks like the Volkswagen, uh, but it was used as a scout vehicle when it first came out. And then obviously I've got the, to me, a Heinkel HE162A2 Salamander. And that's an airbrush set, sorry, get that out of the way. And this one, believe it or not, is a resin set, interior set for 6253, which I shall do as Vitman's Tiger at some time in the future. Uh, another Kubelwagen, as you can see there, though it looks like I've got three in this dash actually, there you go. Uh, Tamiya ME109 E3, and the one my brother bought me for my 50th birthday party is the BF109 F4 by Hobby Boss. Does look a smart little kit, I have to say. Then I've got some of my Bandai Star Wars stash, which is the ATST, which is going to be my entry into the Bandai group build. Boba Fett, X Wing. TIE Fighter, Y-Wing, uh, Special TIE Fighter, which is, I think, uh, which was the one flown by Darth Vader, uh, Stormtrooper, okay, and then this box, I've got more mini art dio stuff, okay, and moving on, I've got a load of my stash in the bed, <laughs> look at that lot, <laughs> Okay, let's run through it. First off, we've got this Vesda Scout car. Um, don't know about a little kit, but I've heard horror stories about some of the Vesda kits. But anyway, we'll give it a go. Bandai Spark Snow Speeder, Slave One, and the M10, which I won on the live event for their first uh, prize draw. So awesome kit. Thanks again, guys. And the old MP, um, to me, MP, Honda McLaren MP44, which um, fortunately I had to suspend the bill because I was having a nightmare with it. But uh, I'll probably proceed with that sometime in the future. Meng FT17, looks a super little kit. Uh, Matilda Mark 3, 4 from Tamiya. Uh, I've got the 25 pounder field gun plus the gun quad tractor. 
uh, Panther G, I think this is the late version, and uh, Meng's Mark A Whippet, okay, and then moving along here, I've got the Bird Panther from Ravel, and ICM's truck, which is the, hmm, can't remember, I think, uh, Himalayal Kabarkas did an inbox review, it's the S3000 KHD. Then I've got the Fury Sherman from Italeri, uh, which I'll be using the decals for, for my other build. Soviet T26 from Hobby Boss, uh, another mini art dio set. And I've got the Tamiya Jagdpanther late version. And this is the Flak Panzer Jepard, which is from the Leopard 1. It's a, a sort of a development anti-aircraft version of it. Hobby Boss's T-37B command tank. That should make an interesting little project. And the Hobby Boss Vickers um, medium tank Mark 1, which I recently did an inbox review on. Up here I've got the Series 3 Land Rover from Ravel. Looks a nice little kit. This was another birthday present from my brother, which is Ravel's BMW M1 Pro Car. It does look an awesome kit. And this is one I'm going to be building for my tribute to... Um, what's the film? Ah, Steve McQueen film. Ah, I'm trying to remember it. Pull it, that's it. The 68 Dodge Charger, which was, I think, the car he was chasing. So there we go. Then a couple of little 148 armour kits. This is being the British 7 ton armoured car, Mark IV, which I thought was 135th when it was advertised, but hey. Next one is the Tiger one, which I was going to have for the buddy build, but unfortunately I ran out of time. But I will build that sometime in the future. And this little beauty, 6383 Dragons Tiger one with Zim. That one I'm going to use as 205 basis uh, for Vitman's 205 Tiger. Does look up nice. Down here I've got Mini Arts Panzer 3 House B, which I actually bought at Telford last year. It does look an awesome little kit. And Dragons Alamein Sherman. Nice. Down here is one I got actually from Hendrik when he was selling off some of his stash, which is the Panzer 4 House E4 Panzer 6301. Looks an awesome kit. And the Black Label British Heavy Conqueror. Uh, that looks an awesome kit too. I've seen a few of those built. Beautiful. And I've got the uh, Ryefield Thurman Tiger, which you see here. Nice kit. And also Dragon's Panther D with Zim. Does look nice. And then on to some aircraft. I've got Tamiya's F16C, uh, which is the Block 25 or 32, 148s, which uh, Paul Brett and I kindly bought from. And that does look a nice kit. And then I've got the Tamiya Zero uh, Zeke which actually is a version of one of the two aircraft that took part in the Pearl Harbor attack. And then I've got the roof as well, which is a float plane version. Then AK's BF109E1E3, um, which is virtually a rebox of the old Edouard Profi pack, but without the goodies. And that's the Spanish Civil War, saw, war set, which is why I bought it. And these two awesome looking kits, Airfix's 148th series of... Lynxes and they do look rather nice, I have to say. Then I've got the 148th Bolton Paul Define, and I saw Michael from Mod Art actually recently build one. It does look at an awesome looking kit. And this is from the Airfix Club, which is the specialist Spitfires, uh, one being a night fighter version, which is probably the one I'm going to build. And this one I recently treated myself to, which is my favourite version of the Spitfire which is the PR-19, that does look like a smart looking beast. Over here I've got the Edward uh, Weekend Edition of the Albatross D3 by the OFAG. Okay, which I'll probably do an inbox review. And then a couple of Mirage C's from Academy. I've got the C version and I've got the Reconnaissance version. Both going to need aftermarket. Then the Arado AR126 A1B1 looks a nice kit. And the Hobby Boss F6F3 Wildcat, which is the late production. That looks a super kit. And Ravel's F2B Bristol Fighter. And net going down, I've got the F15E Eagle, Strike Eagle. 
which I recently did an inbox review, as well as the Typhoon. And then at the bottom here, I've got the beautiful Academy F4B Phantom. Car wise, I've also got the Miami Vice's Daytona Spider, as well as the Testarossa. Few figures here, master boxes uh, set here. Die Skatspieler, where they're playing card games. Does look an awesome little set. And then later on this year, or maybe early next year, I'm going to have a go at some 1 16th figures. This is the German Tank Ace, which I think was moulded on Michael Wittmann. And then down here, I've got um, Uber Sturm Führer Joachim Piper, who we all know for the Arden campaign. Okay. Now, moving on. Around here. This is one Mike Cohen recently in, uh, did an inbox review. And it is going to need some work, apparently. It is also another Fairman Tiger, which is by Academy. There are some inaccuracies on this, though. So um, you're probably better off getting the Ryefield one. There we go. Or, if you can get hold of it and afford it, the Dragon's Old one. And then on here, we've got another M8, which is the standard tank version. Okay. Which comes with the Malta crew. And the ICM's Type 2... 32 one and a half ton truck doesn't look a bad little kit and then i've got the tamiya panther a then uh, uh, the old opal blitz by italeri down here a real rare king tiger which is uh, cyber hobbies uh, king tiger which was based on i think a chinese japanese cartoon series and then I've got uh, another rarity, which is Dragon's Bodo Sprans Stug 3 Alps G. That does look as an awesome little kit. And this is Pride of Place. This is a one I got a real bargain for earlier this year, which is the early version, Dragon's or Cyber Hobby's early version of 6350 Tiger 1. And that means my battery's getting low. <laughs> So, you're going to have to bear with me, guys. I might have to do a part two. Anyway, running on. We've got another one here, which is Dragon's 6302 Tiger Porsche type with Zim. I've got another Berg Panther, which is the old CMK kit. But I am I've got my eyes on the Ryefield one. And now I've got recently re new release is the AMX 1376. Okay. And I think I'm going to call it here, guys, because obviously my battery's getting a bit low. Um, so that's part one over and done with. I shall do part two shortly.